welcome to Occidental Nutrition. I'm Mary Sheila Ganella, and I'm super excited to have a dear friend of mine, Donna O'Malley, with me to do a little talk, conversation, interview about her vitality. Hey, Donna. Good morning, Mary Sheila. Good morning. Um, so Donna and I met in 2018. And we've, so we've known each other for about three years. And I just want to say, I so have loved getting to know you and just also really respect the way that you take care of yourself and your commitment to your health and your vitality. It's been such a big teacher for me as well, um, which has been great. And I just want to know just a little bit about your journey. Like why, why have you really prioritized your health? Well, let me just say that, you know, I equally have been so appreciative of our relationship. I, I can't believe it's only as little as three years. It feels like it's longer. Um, well, the reason I've come to prioritize it, and it's kind of the silver lining, I guess, is because I experienced what life is like without uh, good health and vitality. Almost feels like without any health, um, because... I, um, I really lost, lost so many aspects of my, of my health um, for an extended period of time. And, and the interesting thing is that I actually wasn't even aware of how much was going, how much I was losing um, because I was a little bit in survival, survival mode. So, you know, what I've come to see by learning about how to become aware of what was going on and and how to meet that you know I've I've realized the value of paying attention so I think that that's kind of the biggest the biggest biggest part of it so Donna you've kind of alluded that you really have regained your health can you just tell us a little bit about what was maybe going on before versus where you are now yeah, I, I, um, it was like an eight, per eight year period of time. And I would say, you know, a couple years where I was um, just experiencing a decline in all aspects, you know, my body, my mind, my spirit, my energy, everything just went downward. And it was really um, a trajectory that went right along with increased stresses. So there were stresses at work, there were stresses in my own system that I was carrying with me, digestive, that I wasn't aware of. Uh, there was a, a family situation that was extremely difficult. So I lost, you know, any kind of, you know, regularity with sleep. I was up for many hours. Um, and as a result of all those things, I had decline in not just my digestion, but also my, you know, my mental functioning. So that whole thing around, you know, leaky gut, leaky brain, well, uh, those were, were, that was definitely a reality for me. And I also had a, a mild TBI. Um, so that, that certainly had some effect in, in, you know, in the brain. And that's, and just if anyone's listening, a TBI would be a traumatic brain injury. And uh, so, you know, I think, it's interesting to think that we can maybe go for such a period of time and maybe ignore our symptoms. And I always say like our body speaks to us and sometimes it whispers and then it there's a megaphone. And I think when it reaches all the way to our cognition, our ability to think clearly, remember things, all of that, that's probably when it really, I would imagine got your attention. Oh, it's such a good point. And it's really so true because my nervous system was so on, you know, hyper arousal and I wasn't seeing how bad it was. Uh, I knew that I didn't feel good and I knew there were more and more things I could do, but it felt so overwhelming. And I think for the people around me, I was fairly newly married, um, it probably was scary enough that nobody really wanted to go there because again, you know, when your nervous system is off, nobody wants to kind of make it worse by pointing out. So it was, yeah, not a, not a great, 
picture. <laughs> Just curious to, to kind of get your perspective on this word. You're part of my vitality club and um, vitality is, you know, something that might mean different things to different people. You've been on a health journey for a long time. I just want to know, like, what does vitality mean to you? Yeah, this question has come up before, and I probably always have a different answer. Um, I, vitality really means being in the flow, I think. You know, just being awake and in sync with my inner world and then, you know, what's going on around me. Um, because that's kind of like that awakeness, that's like life. And that is vitality. So feeling the energetics of that, and then also just kind of feeling the connection that can be made with nature, you know, the natural world, with others, with my own, you know, my own journey, my own, you know, intentions. So, uh, yeah, it's a real different thing than that what I, what I was feeling, which is really kind of very dull, worried. Um, yeah, no, this is, it, it's a happier place. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love, I love hearing people's answers to that question. And I really like how you prefaced it of maybe it depends what day of the week it is, how you might even answer that question. But the flow is such a great example, even just like sitting, I'm, you know, right behind me is a wave, you know, it's like, if we're in that flow, you know, we're kind of riding that wave. And, you know, I know that you do a lot of things to support your health. I know you recently started focusing on one thing. And I know it's also had a big impact on your health. So um, I just thought this would be a great thing to share with others, because that's how we learn and grow when we see what's working for other people. That's how I, even as a practitioner, you know, I love pulling things that I know pe are working for people and sharing that with other clients and students, because, you know, it's sometimes it's just brilliant. And that was one of the things when you told me this, I was like, oh my gosh, like, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's share this. So can you just share what that is and how it's impacted your life and things like that? Sure. Well, it's, some seems simple. It's something I've done before, but it's the use of a menu. I've done it before, but this time um, it was presented to me in a group that I'm working with on creating habits. Um, you know, the, the types of habits that really are um, going to serve our health. And uh, so we were supposed to pick one and being very Vata, I, I want to do it all, all the time. But that also has its downside. So, um, so I chose, you know, creating a menu um, because I could see that life was my my kitchen was getting complicated. Things were falling out of my refrigerator. It was summer, you know. It was very middle of summer. So much food coming in. I get very excited about um, trying new things. So I'm always adding new things, and then there's more food. There's more prep. And there's less time for other things. So I chose this menu habit and I kept refining it. I, I pulled them up and was looking at them this morning. I just kept refining them over like there's a period I, I should have counted them. There's like, I don't know, like 10, at least 10 weeks here. And um, I, I came to kind of kind of study what it is in creating a meal. And um, the, the planning, the conscious planning by considering how do I feel, what do I need, considering the season, considering my schedule. Sometimes I take food a lot. I take food to go to work. Uh, yeah, like con considering how much is it going to make? How many times can I eat it so that it's still fresh? The plate that we learn, you know, in the Vitality Club, you know, for the macronutrients, like what's on that plate? So it's like a little crafting, a little desi designing of the week ahead. And uh, it's just, it's been, it's been so great. It's calmed down, you know, a lot of my desire to do too much. And so that idea of less is more, puts less into my digest digestive system than before, because I'm not like, oh, I should add that because I've got it, you know? And so um, it's really, it's made, made a big difference. And interesting, Mary Shelley, because this past week, 
I didn't have time to do the menu. And uh, the week got started, I still didn't do it. And I noticed how, you know, that decision-making fatigue is back. What am I gonna do? Too many options, flipping through either what I have or what, <laughs> what the options are. Um, ha hasn't served me very well. So I think it's going to be a lifetime habit. That is so awesome. You know, there's a lot of science around how many choices we have every day to make and it can get fatiguing. And a lot of times, especially when it comes to food, if we don't have a plan, you know, we, we might just grab what's the easiest food in the house and it's not really going to be a meal. It's not going to be as nourishing and, um, you know, and like you said, it's just even honoring our digestive tract. I kind of love knowing what I'm having, you know, if I'm at work somewhere or whatever, and I know what my meal is going to be. I feel like my digestion is all primed and ready for that, <laughs> you know, versus all of a sudden I'm having something completely different and my digestion's like, oh, whoa, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, what do you feel like has been the best thing that's come from this new habit for you? I'm just curious. Well, um, more time to do other things and um, much better digestion because, you know, what I've, what I've known for a while, but I'm not sure that I really uh, took the action that was necessary is that, you know, we do better, simpler digestion, you know, is going to serve us. So the less that is in there, a variety, I use, you know, I have so many different things on my plate to get everything in that I thought I needed for my health. Um, and so the, the simplicity uh, aspect of it was really good, worked better for me for sure. And so I was kind of getting rid of some of the, I was having a little bit of even like histamine issues, I believe. And then, you know, I can tell just by my elimination patterns, how much I'm really digesting so I was putting, you know, more attention into that, the simple and sleep, you know, it could be other things as well, but I, I definitely been sleeping better over the end of the summer. I track my sleep and it's just amazing how much more sleep I'm getting deeper sleep. Oh, and I guess, you know, calmer in terms of like, like, uh, my nervous system is calmer, like knowing what's coming along you know you mentioned the aspect of looking forward to it but just like not worrying about it like oh what am I gonna you know what am I gonna cook do I have that right to my husband bring it home you know all that stuff just it's it's just been uh, you know just really a served a uh, quieter calmer life uh, so those are the things in my body that that I've noticed that's awesome. I love yeah. it. And I know when we first talked about it and I talk about this a lot, like sometimes when you do one thing, like I always talk about breakfast, it can set you up for success for the day. And it's like a positive domino effect. And same thing with you creating that habit. All of a sudden your sleep is better. Your digestion is better. Your, your stress levels have come down. You have more time and space for you know, finding things to do that you want to do. And it's, you know, so you have more pleasure and fun in your life. It's like, it's just this whole positive domino effect. And that is, you know, that's part of vitality, right? It's, it's yeah. just less, less of the worry. So if you were going to maybe just give somebody um, a, a, any advice or anything to anybody listening around this habit, um, you know, what would that be? Well, I think the first thing after my little lesson this past week is to pick a time and do it regularly and just really try to do it. You can use a menu from the past. Uh, that doesn't work so much for me because I really work with what food I have around. Um, but seasonally, it will work. I'll keep these and it'll be the same food coming around next summer and fall. So I think that's what I would say. And even just roughing it out, if there isn't a lot of time to plan. Um, as I look through, there was one time I did that and it really helped because then, you know, when I got somewhere I could fill in for that time period. Yeah, con just consider the schedule that you've got for that week, how much time you've got, when you might have your prep time, you know, certainly consider what you've got available for food. So what some of my more, more su successful menus is when I really considered how much 
would I be making and when could it be used again? And then trying to keep that as fresh as possible. So I've experimented with, okay, try to separate it by a couple days, but sometimes that might leave leftovers a little longer, which is where, you know, when I had some, what, you know, I called histamine issues, like older food was maybe not working for me. Um, so trying to, to get it out of the refrigerator um, and put it in the freezer if necessary. And I, I've done that a fair amount too. And then that creates a meal for another time. So I would say those are the the tips that I'd offer. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. And it sounds like, um, you know, probably the most important and best way to start is to, you know, be in your kitchen, see what you have in your refrigerator, maybe your freezer, your cupboard, and create some meals. And then think about how much you want to make of them to maybe make extras for the leftovers. Um, and, you know, have that planned out of what you want to eat. And, you know, the other thing that I think is so important is because then you, we start to really use what we buy. I, so many times people say like, oh, well, my produce usually goes bad. I end up throwing it out. I've had, you know, one, one client said, I have a million dollar compost pile, <laughs> you know, cause so much of his food he'd thrown out. So, you know, sitting with what you have and starting there, I think is such a great uh, sort of offering of how somebody can get started with this um yeah so it's just a brilliant a brilliant way to go <laughs> i have another little tip excuse me for interrupting um because i get so excited about all the things that i want to prepare you know and it's not true for everyone you know some true. of the listeners may be on the other side they need the menu to get them cooking more at home or preparing their own foods. So it might be a look a little differently than what I do, but I have a little bit of a, well, first of all, I try to put, if there's a recipe or a place where I found the idea that I wanna follow, I'll put the reference on my menu. And that's really helpful and it saves the time. And then I started a little waiting list because something would come up or some recipe would show up or food would show up and I, I could see what I wanted to do with it. So I had a little waiting list at the bottom of my menu <laughs> so that the next week it went in. And that really worked, um, worked, worked quite well for me. That's awesome. Kind of got you excited for the next week. <laughs> yeah, it did. That's true. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to add one more little tip. Um, sometimes <laughs> what I like to do is if I have, you know, let's say I have three or four ingredients that I know I have in my fridge, but I'm like, I, you know, I just want something creative. I'll put those ingredients right into my, you know, Google bar or whatever you use for search engine. And so I'll put, let's say I had like fennel, onion and chickpeas or something. I'll throw those in there and then I'll see what comes up. And I might then find a brand new recipe and I realize, oh, I have all the other ingredients too. Boom, I can make this. Um, or yeah. maybe I'll put it on the waiting list for another time, but it's just a way to kind of sometimes get out of the rut of what we can make that is um, just more uh, exciting, it pleases our taste buds, it's something new, yeah. maybe we can make extra of it, we can have it again the next day and make it simple, you, you know, so it, it's definitely worth our while to see what we have and, you know, whether you create the menu or just figure out what you can make with those things that you have on hand. But I think the menu, you know, and really why I wanted to bring this forward was just that how much it freed up, has freed up yeah. for you and how much thought goes into our food choices and maybe not for everybody, but how can we, we know we want to eat well, but what if we just knew what the plan plan was and we even maybe had prepared some of that stuff in advance we knew what the plan was so that nourishing ourselves was something that was just what we do and who we are and that is a game changer and that you know certainly has been a game changer for somebody like you who's done so much to invest in her health to have this be just um you know be a, become a foundational piece of your health 
and then not do it and feel the difference. You know, what a, what a great, you know, sometimes when we don't do something and we feel the difference and we go, oh, I'm so grateful that I've been doing this thing. I'm going to go back and keep doing this thing because it's helping me to stay in my flow and to be, feel vital, to feel nourished, to feel grounded, to feel, you know, all the, the benefits that you're getting. Yeah. A side benefit for me has been also, I think my husband's a lot happier for one thing that our refrigerator just isn't full of more food than we need. So again, that's my experience, maybe not everyone else, but um, he participates. So I leave, you know, I kind of write what I need to have based on my schedule and timing for, for certain things. And then for the, you know, meals that we have together, I have him take a look and this makes it easier for other family members to have a say, but also know what's coming around. So I posted on the refrigerator, you know, it used to be, well, what are you having today? Because he was always having something different, but now it's not always that way. Because again, you can, cons you know, you, for many people, they need to consider the rest of their family. Um, and so then he can decide what he's in on and what he's not in on. So that's yeah. just another side benefit. <laughs> yeah, we could probably go on and on. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Donna, for taking this time to talk with me and share your, your wisdom around food and what you've learned. And I really appreciate it. And yeah, so thank you so much. Oh, thanks. And good luck to everyone. And uh, yeah, play around, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> great. Well, thanks so much for watching. And um, I hope everybody has a really great day. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.